Well, I think he's been uh, a very important figure in the struggle, uh, and I think that's why Turkey want him to be isolated and uh, kept away, because he is able to inspire the Kurdish people uh, in their cause for uh, democracy uh, and for their own um, freedom. You need to be somebody who then understands that those violations of human rights are important to every single one of us. We are connected to one another on a global scale. So I would say to those individuals, you need to rise up. You need to be talking to your leaders in your countries so that they are applying pressure at an at a, at a international level across onto the UN to be raising these issues. We cannot sit back and say that this particular issue is too hard, that this is going to cause a problem as far as a trade deal, for example, that we are trying to do or we are in the middle of with Turkey. This is going to affect us economically. You can't pick and choose what is good for what is good for you is good for everyone else as well. You, you cannot say to me that you are an internationalist, that you care about human rights, that you that you know the same people who say Black Lives Matter, the same people who say freedom for Palestine, the same people who who fight against oppression um, and, and for global justice across the world. Those are the same people who now need to come forward on this one too. Oshalan now, and for some years, has been uh, the Mandela of the Middle East. Uh, the noise that the world made uh, to support Mandela is a noise that the world needs to make now to support Abdullah Oshalan. And I think that uh, any prisoner should have the right to access their lawyers uh, and be allowed uh, visits by their families. It's one of the fundamentals that distinguishes uh, democratic states from others. So I think the fact that he's been held uh, in isolation uh, is a very bad thing. Uh, and I think the international community needs to put pressure on Turkey to change things. Being in prison and mostly in solitary confinement ever since 1999, I also know that he's considered by hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people in Turkey, uh, to be the key to achieving some kind of peaceful arrangement. It's not just about Abdullah Erdogan personally. Of course, the violations of his human rights, his denial of um, access to lawyers, denial of access to his family, being held in solitary are absolutely outrageous and have to be stopped. But what is crucial for all trade unionists, all working people to understand is that the situation in Turkey and the wider region at the moment is absolutely explosive and extremely volatile. And it is in the interests of all of us, not just the oppressed people in Turkey in the region, but everybody who wants to see a democratic, peaceful future um, really needs to understand that unless this happens soon and unless something is done to stop the naked aggression, the repression, the authoritarianism of the Erdogan regime, there are going to be problems for everybody across the region and in Europe as well. So we will be making every effort to get all of our brothers and sisters in the European trade union movement, the international trade union movement to get on board, join the campaign, pressurise their MPs, pressurise their governments, the time has come and it needs to be addressed now. He spent uh, 21 years uh, in isolation. Uh, he is the embodiment um, of the Kurds independence movement. The Kurds being 30 million strong and the largest stateless uh, group uh, in the world. Um, uh, and he personifies uh, their quest for a state and for a democratic a way of exercising their autonomy. ...genocidal war against them, one of many wars in a war-torn region, which Abdullah Öcalan has developed many ideas to transform into a peaceful, democratic region and into an inclusive state within Turkey and the other immediate areas where the Kurds live. It's a campaign not just for the region, it's a campaign for all those believing in civil rights, uh, freedom and democracy 
uh, and for peace in, in the world. It's the campaign, uh, a, a most a, an amazing person locked up for 21 years, mostly in isolation, without proper uh, access to lawyers and family and so on, uh, who, if released, would transform the region and thereby the world. That over a long period of years, his, Mr. Oshalan's thinking and writing have developed and changed, and not too many people in the outside world uh, understand and realize that fact. Um, they should study the evidence, particularly the evidence of his writings. Um, he suffered from being stuck with the label of a terrorist, whereas, in fact, his thinking has evolved and developed. And I think it's crucial for many forces of uh, democracy and uh, freedom and peace all around the world and not just uh, in Turkey or Kurdistan or the Middle East to understand just how crucial and how um, directly symbolic the freedom of Abdullah Öcalan is and how much it's tied to all of our freedom. Like we said, and we I reiterate, not just because he is a very important individual, because he is, and he is the architect of uh, the Kurdish liberation movement's paradigm on, uh, you know, uh, democratic confederalism and, and a democratic civilization, but also because the the uh, the isolation and the conditions of Mr. Abdullah Ojan has set precedence for uh, all across Turkey for the treatment of uh, activists and fighters of freedom and democracy, but also all across the region and all across the world. So just lastly, I really urge um, our entire community to support and be more involved in uh, the Freedom for Öcalan campaign. Tell everyone about it. Read Öcalan's work. I think this is really crucial for us to start to understand just how important Abdullah Öcalan's freedom is. And also uh, urge other organizations, particularly other trade unions all across the world, you know, from a UK perspective, the most important thing that can be done to support the UK trade union campaign is to also strengthen uh, these campaigns of the sort all across Europe, but, all, but also all across the world. You know, we are stronger together, and this has always been the case historically. So the more we do this all across the world, the stronger we will be, and the better and the quicker we will be able to achieve victory because of course that's our ultimate aim so i just want to say the time has come but also the time is overdue so i believe that our unions must be saying all the time uh, the time has come freedom for ochlan the time has come and then those people who don't know about the campaign will begin to be involved in it uh, it's a very difficult time uh, to be uh, running a campaign like this while the pandemic uh, is still raging across the world. And in a tiny, tiny way, some people have felt the isolation uh, of having to be uh, inside. But it can be nothing compared with the 21 years of Abdullah Öcalan. But I think that's the message. The message is to say that all unions, all trade unionists, active internationalists, must be saying, the time has come, bring, bring as much pressure as we possibly can on our individual governments and the trade union movement internationally to say that Abdullah will be free. Unsuccessfully to suppress some of the most important political ideas that have come from that region and which uh, are influential to people throughout the world. Basic, simple, decent ideas about the full engagement and involvement and women of all parts of our, in all parts of our society and governance the simple need to create peace, the need to put aside religious differences and divisions and find a unity in a common cause and democratic structures uh, aiming to engage and involve everyone in peaceful, productive uh, work and not war uh, as continually is happening in the region. So his ideas are powerful. And the power of ideas always are the biggest threat to reactionaries and to backward looking people and those who want to keep people divided and oppressed. And Erchelan is a man of important ideas.